Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Erin and I do mostly budgeting videos like the one you are about to see here. about a thunderstorm and I remember this happening last week around this time so um, hopefully it won't be too distracting but I just wanted to mention this now it is going to be a lengthy video because I have a lot of information to put in my budget binder or my budget planner and I have a lot of things that I need to organize so I can get ready for my stinking fun stuffing and my cash envelope stuffing the reason why I'm keeping these all separate is just in an effort and to save time uh, I don't like these to be so long and usually my videos are running um, anywhere in upwards of 20 minutes as it is so I, I just don't want them to be too lengthy because I think people you know can kind of tune out after a while because it gets to be too much so um, a couple things first this is my budget planner I am using a combination of a happy planner with a tool notebook cover so I did get some questions about this and I'm really really sorry I apologize that I cannot locate the tool notebook that this cover came with um, it is beautiful it did come in a smaller size too as you can see you can maybe the light will pick up some of the foiling you can see that there is a whole layer of foiling underneath the cutout like the laser cut um, design I absolutely love it. I will keep trying to find this and link it down below. So keep checking back whenever you see this as, you know, being the star of the video. Um, keep checking back in the description and I will do my best to find this. Um, it is really, really pretty. I do have Happy Planner um, rose gold or pink discs on here. And I'm backing this up just so I can open it just a bit. Uh, but as you can see, what I'm using in here is the uh, 2018 or no, I, I apologize, the 18 month 2019, 2020 watercolors, big happy planner. Um, this is a beautiful planner and I'm so glad in hindsight that I had picked this up. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I, I just absolutely love it. So I'm not going to do a whole flip through, but this is where I am doing my budget and um, keeping track of everything. So I'm going to flip right now into June. And um, if you didn't catch this video, I'm making all kinds of noise. If you didn't catch this video, this is the one that I did my overview for the month. And I'm gonna be updating some of this information too because as you can see, I have some anticipated income amounts here and I will just zoom in just a bit. Um, but I also want to populate the actual amount as it comes in. So a couple of things, I do have a couple side hustles going on and it was a necessary thing for us because um, my job's been furloughed and my husband is laid off. We don't know what the end result is going to be for either of those situations. So we're trying to be as prepared as possible and also just making ends meet. Um, the, the upside to this is that Grubhub has been incredibly lucrative. So we're going to be talking about this paycheck today. Um, we got $1,160. That is for one week. Now, I do get questions. Does that, does that already have taxes taken out of it? It does not. So what I need to do is I need to sit down and I, fig I need to figure my cumulative earnings up until this point and I need to put aside about 25% of that. So when it comes tax time, I'm prepared to actually pay those taxes and not be in a situation where I'm on a payment plan because I didn't plan for it. Um, what I'm hoping to do is not take it out of our current income. I'm hoping that we can take that 25%, whatever that number equals to be, out of my husband's unemployment when and if he ever gets that. So that is the plan. Um, Let's see, Instacart was a new venture. And um, as you can see, didn't make much money. Um, I tried it and I really liked it. It takes a lot more time than a Grubhub order because you are actually shopping for somebody. But it is worth it because you can see they're called batches. If you sign up for Instacart, you can see exactly how much you'll be making, how much you'll be shopping, where you're going to be delivering it. They give you a lot of information to go on and make the decision on whether or not you want to accept the order. Um, so this week we're getting a little bit more into it. Um, my husband can sign up for Instacart or Grubhub now because we did find out in our state that you can earn a little bit of money while you are on unemployment. Um, of course, there is a cap and if you earn in excess of whatever that cap is, they start taking that away from your unemployment. At this point, I don't really know what to say about that because he hasn't seen any unemployment. So, um, But the, the legality of it is he can actually do that and you know, kind of take off with that on his own. So that's the upside. So I'm not sure what that's going to look like for us or how we're going to work that out. But Grubhub, just in case you're wondering, 
sharing how we got to this amount. This is from evenings and practically all day on weekends. So when I did the Instacart order, I started that last weekend and um, it seems like Instacart is really, really busy in the mornings and the afternoons. Once the evening comes, you're, you're really not seeing a whole lot of grocery orders and requests, at least in my area. So I don't know how these numbers stack up to other people who are doing, you know, this service or either of these services. Mind you, this was one order, um, but I don't know how it stacks up compared to other people who are doing Grubhub or DoorDash, but that is um, our situation. And if I didn't already do it, I'm going to insert the photo of the confirmation of the payment, just so you guys know, you know, it is exact, it's true. Um, because honestly, I wouldn't have believed you, you could make that in one week on a delivery service. But then again, I wasn't educated about any of this. And um, I'm really glad. So if any of you are hesitating to look into some kind of side income delivery service, whether it's Amazon, DoorDash, Grubhub, um, I don't know, there's, there's a whole bunch of them that you can donate items or donate, deliver items. Um, there's just a whole bunch that I don't even know about. But I say take the plunge and try it because in my experience, there's no contracts to sign. You're not locked into anything. So if you don't like it or it's not that lucrative for you or it's just not working out for your schedule, you're not committed. So I'm just putting it out there. If you are hesitating, take the leap and try it out. You know, I mean, the worst you can do is make a couple bucks and say, all right, well, that was that, but it's not for me. So um, what I'm going to do today is plug in that 116084. All right, I'm gonna plug that in to my payday spread right here. So I'm going to actually refer to last week's because I want it to look the same. And until I get into a habit of doing it, I, I have to refer to what I did last time. Um, so let's see. I have two pages here from May. I I love this binder system. I keep calling it a binder. I don't know why I can't get that out of my head. I love this planner system. I think that it really lends itself to the way I want to track things. So if we take a look at May's kind of like a, I'm calling it a double payday because you know I have Grubhub and then I have my payday in one week. I get paid from my job every two weeks. Um, I was able to put those side by side for reference. Then also update my sinking funds, my cash envelopes, and then how much I am paying toward June's bills. Now the reason why I'm not going to be able to fill all that out for today is because I didn't get paid yet for tomorrow. And although I know how much is coming, I still want to have money in hand before I do my regular payday video. So I anticipated this week that Grubhub was going to be $1,000. And for next week, I'm anticipating lower just because I've been busier. So I'm anticipating maybe for next week, maybe around 700 or so. So I also want to put actual because that is the important number. And it was 116084. I think 84 was the change. And it is really, really starting to come down now. The rain is here, so hopefully this evening it's not going to be too ugly or anything like that because I would like to do some deliveries and not have it be completely miserable, but um, you never know. 116084, yep, okay. And then Instacart, this is payday number one for Instacart. So much to keep track of, I swear. Okay, was $19.49, 19 so I'm going to do a total, and this is what I'm going to be working with this week, so let's do 116084 plus 19.49 equals one one eight oh thirty three. I mean, honestly, guys, for one week, that is not too shabby for a side hustle. I mean, I am so happy with this and so relieved for a couple of different reasons. I have a lot of stuff coming up. I have to go to 
do to a couple doctors, do some testing and things like that. Um, I anticipate also that that's going to be on the pricey side. Um, so I need to plan for that and make sure that we have enough to cover all that. But um, yeah, just a lot coming up. And before we were doing any of this, before I signed up for any of this, honestly, we were just, I mean, we would be barely making our bills, let alone have extra money for like all the incidentals and the variable expenses. So what I'm going to do is um, add that as my um, side income pay. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to reorganize my sinking funds. And I'm not redoing the system. I'm still using the same envelopes and things like that. But what I did was I went to the bank and I got different denominations. So the amounts are going to be the same um, with the addition of what I add from this paycheck today. Um, but I just got different denominations. So I didn't have so many bills in these envelopes at home. I just, I don't know, it was just too much. And then after that, I'm going to make a separate video of the cash envelopes and how we are divvying up our money for cash envelopes this week. And then what I'm going to be putting into my June bills for 20, um, or for my July bills for 2020, so next month. So I think I'm gonna make that part of tomorrow's paycheck video. So I have one, two, three paycheck, or three videos left to do um, for this week. And then all of that will be brought up to date. And again, the reason why I'm doing it separately is just in an effort to save time. And some people are more interested in the savings aspect of it. So like the sinking funds, some people are more interested in how you know money is managed for the week. So the variable expenses and the, the regular cash envelopes. And I think some people are more more interested in what the income is and how it's broken down. So I'm going to get into the breakdown first in my sinking funds. So that video is coming next. It's going to look just like last um, last times. So this was um, for Thursday and Friday, May 21st and 22nd, and this was for May 28th and 29th. So as you can see, I did them the exact same way. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be getting off to that very soon. So um, I just wanted to give you an update on the income and then I'll be back and hopefully you guys will catch me in my next video. If you enjoyed this video and my explanation about side income and what I'm doing with it um, so far, uh, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel and I will see you guys in my next one for my sinking funds. Take care.